Hi, yeah. Hi, babe. Hi, honey. What's up? Hey. What you doing? Trying to make a video? Call our friends? Say hi. Hi, yeah. How y'all doing? What's going on? We're back here again. Wait, what are we doing today? Well, we just came from outside. It was so nice outside. Such a beautiful, beautiful day. And we enjoyed the entire day in me packing with my sissy and my nephew. Newborn yeah. nephew. Um, we had such a good day. Yeah. It's like a perfect day. So we felt like to, it would be perfect to come home and the video because we were in a good mood, you know. Yeah, the wine just kicked in. It had a little nice little Moscato. Yeah, so. And, um, yeah, so. I know, I know. Um, we got some comments saying, why don't y'all go outside? Why don't you leave the house? So we was actually going, we tried to record twice outside. So we was going to, the other day we tried to do it, but that didn't work out because it was too dark out. And then we were going to do it just now, but it got really chilly out. Like, it was beautiful all day, but when we was coming home, it got really chilly out. So, um, we promise, we promise that our next video is going to be outside. It's that when we outside, we be on the go. We be... It's New York City. Everybody's yeah. Everybody's always walking straight. Yeah, everybody, and then it's like, you look crazy when you're walking with hand, you know. We could do it probably in our, in our, in our building balcony. We do have a balcony in our building. Yeah, you so, can um, see outside. Or you know what? So, we'll, we'll do that. Our next one, we'll do it. Or Central Park or something yeah. like that. We got you. But... We promise. We hear you. We, we, we're getting the comments and suggestions. Um, I didn't tell my baby, but I got another comment. I saw it in my email. It said that um, the last video we posted, she should stop sticking her tongue out. She can do whatever the hell she wants. What? what? I don't know. See? See, this comment again. They, I, some of them think they know us for real. You like? I should stop sticking my tongue. Why? You want a piece of it? Nah, my baby gonna kill you. And I would kill you first, and then I would uh, kill her. I stick my, I just, I could do whatever you ain't, I want. Exactly. Like, you ain't, I didn't even tell you, because I was like, first of all, we ain't gonna, we do, what we want. If you don't wanna see, just turn off your video and go to sleep. You're like, yeah, I'll be watching my tongue. You should be listening to what we're saying, not watching my tongue. Anyway. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna do, oh, another thing is that we are, doing games as well and challenges don't like i love 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 that um some of you have been emailing our email heaven and rita at gmail.com and giving us challenges and games and questions we love that please keep it coming because we're going to do it like don't worry this spring and summer our videos are going to be popping okay it they're already popping but they're going to be popping <laughs> um so we're gonna do the 20 questions tag. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a tag. Um, and it's 20 questions that you ask. Um, and you can do it with your best friend, you can do it with your partner, you can do it with somebody. So we're gonna do it now. Okay, so 20 questions. Um, if you could change only one thing in your life, what would that be and why? Mm. I change the fact that I'm in a different country and my family members are elsewhere i think that's the only thing i'll change why because i miss them oh baby i mean living in another country for eight years not seeing your parents not seeing your siblings for a while the only sibling i see is the one in canada so i miss them so that's the only thing i'll change how about you i think i would change my financial situation not that it's bad but i would just <laughs> i need it to come quicker i'm like i need I need, like, my goals and my dreams, I have so much that I just want it to come, like, tomorrow. I feel like the, the process is just taking so long. Mm -hmm. um, so I think if I was to change something in my life, I think I would want to be in a different situation where, I mean, I'm blessed. I don't want to say that. I'm blessed. I am. But I just, my businesses need to pop and everything else. Pop, pop, pop. I want to get it going. Okay. In a regular day, what do you find yourself thinking about the most? myself thinking about photography sneakers on my girl how about you babe i always think about sneakers my photography on my girl those are the most three important things that i care about and i don't mess with so if you step in come clean don't come disrespect i'm sorry how about you um i think about 30 things at once i think about yeah. my She's home like, i think about i I would say a thing about um, my personal life, my baby, 
my fight my financial situation and my businesses and my job and my work so my professional life and then i and my family mm. i think about everything the most i don't i don't, there's not one thing that gets most of my attention i'm always like mm. i wish my, home, my mom okay is my heartbeats okay is my baby okay like you know is diamond okay <laughs> If you could write a song about your life, what type of music would you use? I think R&B. I think gospel. <laughs> Cause if I had to do it, I would think I'd be praising the Lord the whole time. I'm so thankful and grateful, and I would be doing a duet with Mary Mary. <laughs> what things in your life bring you the greatest pleasure? <laughs> Were you about to be fresh? Yeah. Oh my God. Greatest pleasure. I'll say sex. Her sex dress me crazy and it's so good. Like, I don't care who's listening. I love sex and I love having sex. That's the only thing that brings me the, the, the greatest pleasure. Okay? Greatest. Ghana power. Ghana West, power. West Indian style. You know, she be whining and whining. <laughs> How much you make? See, I'm real. I'm, I'm the things that gr- bring me the greatest pleasure mm-hmm. is being like being in love with my girlfriend. Like it really, really. Um, like hold on, hold a, on, hold on. I'm not your girlfriend. My fiance. There you go. Like when I, when you are so silly. When um, <laughs> yeah. Why are you being so silly? The fiance, you're that. Um. <laughs> Like, I don't know, seeing her face and being around her, hugging her, like, that really brings me, like, my greatest pleasure. Um, wine, Moscato bring my greatest pleasure, and a glass of ice bring my greatest pleasure. <laughs> like, that's when I feel, like, the most, like, you know, like... You just, like, mellow. Especially making make love to you, like, I, I feel like I am on cloud 99. John Legend. John Legend, so high. <laughs> Seriously, I just feel like, oh my God, this moment here is what I live for. Come on, ask this question faster. Right? Okay, sorry. Um, we gotta give one sentence because it's gonna be like a hundred. What do you feel is your greatest accomplishment in your life? Did other people help to make that happen? No, nobody helped me to accomplish nothing except going further in my career-wise. But the only thing that I achieved, uh, that I feel what. You feel what? Greatest accomplishment. Yeah, my two degrees, I have an associate degree and my bachelor's degree. That I can always brag about because that money can't pay for. So those are the only things I'm really proud of. My college degree and my ambition. Yeah. My ambition. I'm so proud that I think the way I think. A lot of people don't think the way I think. Yep. That's why they're still stuck up in their ways. And it bugs me out. (laughs) In what settings are you the happiest, eager, most comfortable? In what settings? I would say home. I'm... I'm the happiest home. I feel like the most comfortable home. I think I'm calm home, but when I'm outside, like I don't know, a bunch of ages, I just act silly, crazy. So it's, it depends. Wherever you are, you, you're different. So yeah. What things do you look forward to each day in your life? A good day. Uh, understanding wife. A home cooked meal. <laughs> a clean house, which it is clean every day, and um. Everything positive in a day. That you what you look for? Yeah. Okay. Um, I look forward to getting something done. Like if I can look back on the day and say I got that done. I want to get something done each day. So it's mine. If you had three wishes that could that would come true, what would they be? Opening my sneaker store, moving to Cali in a comfortable space, and coming in for the rest of my life. Oh, babe. It's so sweet. How about you? It's so sweet, honey. Um, I want to have a a successful, happy marriage. My three wishes. So that's my first wish. I want to have a successful empire. The Heaven Grace Empire. Watch out, coming soon. Um, 2016. Yeah, I'm not ready. And I want to be able to travel the world. My three wishes. Yeah, we we'll go to Africa first, though. Wait, so I'm making those faces at the camera every time I look away. What other things would you want to change now and why? What other things would we want? We don't, why do you keep asking us that? 
What other things would you want to change now? I don't want to change nothing. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy. I'm doing my position on my job. I want to move forward, but it will come. It will come to me. But everything right now is pretty good. Yeah. I, what, uh, what major regret do you have so far in your life? Is it too late to change it? No, it's already been changed. I regret with being with any of my exes. They are thoughts. So, that's the only thing. <laughs> and that's, it's changed. How about you? Um, my major regret is a lot of the opportunities that was given to me when I was younger. As far as modeling and, and, and just things that was in my career that was offered to me. I didn't take. I was lazy. I wanted to run around after people and be in relationships that wasted my time and took me places that I didn't need to be. One thing I also regret is not cherishing my family. Like, like, like right now, it's like, you know, when you're with them every time, you don't really see, um, what, what am I trying to say? You don't really take the, them in, important. Like, they're not really important to you. To you take advantage up. of their presence. Yeah. So you moved to another yeah. country and you did like I got eight years in in this country and I've never seen my mom since I came to this country. So that's hard. Like I'm doing everything in my power to let her come here. My sister lives in Canada. The one in China. Ever since I left Africa, I've never seen her. My brother left for Australia. I've never seen him. So it's like that. It hits me hard, especially like in holiday season. But I don't really show much to her. So cause she, oh baby, she's all I got. So she's my only family. My other family here, like they don't really. No, they don't really want to know me much because of my sexuality. So, I just she's all I got in this country, like for real. Oh, honey. Uh, and my other friends, Ingrid, Awa, those are the only three people that I really got like to hold me down in case of anything. So, if we break up and shit kicks me out, I'm coming to your house. But we ain't breaking up. So. Exactly. And if I do break up with you and kick you out this house and you go over there, I'll be knocking at your door like bitch when you coming back. Oh, uh, you gonna take me? I'm gonna screw them all thoughts. You ain't screwing them all thoughts. <laughs> nah, yeah, that was, that was some real talk, so. She's all I got, man. One strike. One lucky girl. Gotta hold her tight. I got bars. <laughs> you felt that thing. What would be my ideal romantic date? My, I go first. Okay. So I would want. I could even say yours. Oh, say mine. Okay. Just a sunny day, sandals, a long dress, hair done, nails done, white toes, a bag, walking down, I say me packing, sitting outside, roses on the table, a glass of wine, a steak salad, filet mignon to be precise, okay? And a beautiful girl across the seating area which happens to be me a limo outside ready to drive us somewhere upstate in a nice cozy hotel where we can make love all night I got that? <laughs> I got that though? <laughs> I know okay. how Okay, exactly that down to the T Yep Perfect ideal date Yeah Is there a belief or attitude that seems to interfere with creating or pursuing a big dream? Mm. No. Mm. Nothing that I... Think I've... whatever you put your mind to it, you can achieve it. Yes. What are a couple of things that you appreciate about our relationship and why do these things seem significant? One thing I do appreciate is like we motivate each other. She motivates me a lot more than I do motivate her. Like she's... I'm with a smart... I'm, a, I'm with a smart woman. Like everything that I put on the table she has something positive to push me towards to, um ac accomplishing it so i think like you 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 being in my ear is is what i'm grateful for because you you're smart everything that i talk about you do have knowledge about i'm not saying you know everything but it's like everything that i put on the table even if you don't you still you know inquire so i have a smart girl and thank you baby you for um, intelligence. thank you honey you don't appreciate nothing about me now? I'm not. I'm about to say mine. All right, now. Um, I appreciate our friendship. Yeah. I, I feel like there's been times where we're more friends than we are lovers. Yeah, like we look at girls together. Like, yeah. Like and, we trying to bring a girl And home. we be we laughing. Girls together. And not, <laughs> and not just that. Like, we, we really, 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 like, crack up. Like, we just crack up walking down the street on a... You know, you know the moment I remember what? Um, that I was laughing about yesterday when I came to get you the mm -hmm. other day, like mm -hmm. just now. Mm -hmm. 
and the guy threw the cup oh. and we was laughing. Like, in that moment, she felt like my best friend. You know, that we've known so... Cause we were around each other so much that we started to talk alike and act alike and yeah. react to things alike. And it's like, funny. And then be at the same moment. moment. We would react the same exact way and then we would crack <laughs> up. It's just so crazy. And I, I feel like she is my best friend for real. You know, yeah. like... That's my nigga. Man, it's special. It's a special thing. Yeah. And what situations do you feel most afraid or insecure? Mm. Most know. afraid or insecure? I, I would feel, I would think competition. Like if I feel like um auditions and castings and stuff like that, I feel most. I wouldn't say insecure, but I just you know it's a possibility. Fred, I, that, hate, I hate speaking in front of a thousand people, like a lot of people. Like in my job, I conduct these meetings every morning where I have to speak to a, about. 20 to 50 employees every morning that I go, I open. So, yeah, that I'm, I really get a little nervous, but it's getting there, you know. What would you like to do outdoors that you have not done before? And are there any extreme sports that you'd like to try? Oh, oh, oh. Absolutely. Yeah, I want to play soccer with my friends in the Bronx. Extreme Kingsley. sports. Extreme. That's extreme. Like um, bungee jumping or rock climbing or rock extreme climbing, definitely. sports. Not like basketball, baseball. Uh, rock, rock climbing, definitely. Um, yeah, I definitely want to do rock climbing. You know. Never bungee jump. I don't want to jump down no rope. Um, oh, no. We know skydiving, that. no. But I do want to do the skydiving where it's in, inside the indoor skydiving. Yeah, like, that yeah, looks like, like fun. His, uh, yeah. His family did, yeah. What would you do else that you never done before? I would go camping. I'm never going to... I would go camping. Oh, I love to go camping. Yeah, me too. Yeah. What country would you like to visit that you haven't visited yet? Um... UK. I want to visit Malaysia. I want to be around. Weird, but I want to visit Malaysia and Indonesia. That's different. I don't know. Um, what family member did the did you most admire when you were a child? My auntie. Her name is Yvonne. Yvonne Ohene. She's in Ghana. She's a nurse. Who did I most admire? Yeah, I love Yvonne. I would say... Most admire. I would probably say my like I, I have an older sister that's three years older than me. I have an older cousin that's three years older than me. I have a god sister that's three years older than me. When I was little, they were like a little older than me. Mm -hmm. So my sister, my cousin, my god sister was like I admired them because they were older than me. What activities did your mother father do that you most wish he taught you? Nothing. Gun Not shooting. Mm -mm. Gun shooting. My mom and dad didn't my dad do that activity. Used to shoot every Saturday morning. Oh my God. You shoot every day morning. We used to go hunting. We never. We always used to use our shop or uh, shop uh, things to hunt. But yeah, we used to shoot in the mornings. He never taught us, and I feel like shooting some of these people that are on my nerves. You always took. Why are you talking low, babe? Come on now. <laughs> Yeah, gun shooting, that's it. Okay. What do you most wish you'd learn from your mother, father? Nothing. They told me everything. The strength from my mom. My mom was very strong. And my dad... I don't know. My parents taught me tough life. It's so what? Who? We My said? parents taught me the hard way and the easy way. So okay. I don't feel like I'm missing. I, could, I think I could survive in any country. I don't, I'm not saying I know it all, but I feel like I have what it takes to live anyway. So I think they taught me well. Okay. Name three things that most excite your imagination when you imagine doing them. Sneakers. Running my business. Sneakers. Mo I'm most excited Sneakers. Ab about photography. Like I can like when I imagine me waking up out of my California home and getting into my car and kissing my wife goodbye and kissing my my child see you later baby and going to and driving up to my business that has my name on the store having grace and opening my key and going into my office and all of my employees come in I am most excited about that all four boss boss babe. You heard? <laughs> yeah, I'm acting mad silly today. What question? <laughs> what question about our money or future spending do you find hard to ask? 
What question about our money or future spending? No, that's no question. We spend, we spend. We right. spend, we spend. No, we, we ain't afraid to ask anything on the talk about. <laughs> what are your favorite things to spend money on? Food. Coffee. And it's not our favorite thing, but we keep. Listen, listen. We just went food shopping like two hundred. We will go. We will spend two hundred dollars on food, and then we will literally put it away and then go out to eat and spend like seventy five dollars on the meal, right? And then throughout that week, we wouldn't really want anything to eat in the refrigerator, so we would go order out or every day. It's ridiculous. That's like, that's like almost four or five hundred. It is sickening. It is sickening. It's not yeah, like, funny. You spend like five hundred dollars a week. <laughs> no, it's retarded. Like. I spent money on food today. We spent money on food today only because my we w- we was like having like a family lunch. Yeah. But we vowed to not spend money on food. Like I haven't this ordered. We vowed. We vow not to spend money on. Like I haven't. I've cooked all week. Yeah. I've not. The Del- delivery man knows me. Like he knows me. <laughs> no, it's like crazy. And I have delivery dot com. My points is like through the roof. I can I can buy a TV with all the points I didn't accrue delivering. <laughs> It's, it's crazy. Um, okay, last question. What are you most envious of? I don't envy nothing. Nothing. I am not envious of nobody. nothing or no one. Everybody's situation is different. And you don't know what they're going through? You don't know what they're going through. You don't know what's... No, I don't envy nobody. Nope. Nobody. It's not even my own father. Like, I don't envy nobody. Who? She said her own father because her father is rich in Africa. No, he not. He's a nobody. He's just a regular man. That's rich. So, yeah, man. That's it for this video. I see the hat. I got my baby name on the hat. Naizy. It's leather shit. That's my name. That's her name, you know. When I walk around, I be like, yo, what's your girl name? I be like, yo, you don't see that on my head? No, as soon as a little guy looking at her, I be like, quick, you need to get this. Oh, right here, through the what? What? Uh-uh, uh-uh. On your neck, right here on your neck. You I don't get, have no job. Uh-uh. You need to get heaven right here on your chest. <laughs> um, so that is the twenty questions tag, but I think it was a little bit more than twenty questions. But who cares? Um, twenty questions tag, and I we are tagging all of the lesbian couples that watch us. If you watch us, right, yeah. and you've watched at least five of our videos, I need you to record this video we are tagging you you are you have been tagged boo so write these questions down and um do do a video with your boo or your best friend or whatever and um just know you've been tagged by heaven and rita hashtag heaven and rita and follow us on instagram you already know say it with us h-e-a-v-e-n Underscore letter N underscore R I T T A. You already know. Ah, yeah. It's getting dark. Everybody. It's getting dark here. Can y'all see our natural lighting? It's getting dark. Um, and like we said, we have listened to your requests, your games, challenges. We will be doing them, and our next video will be outside. We promise, 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 promise. It yep. just got a little chilly today, so. It was a and I was wearing this. I was thirsty. I was thirsty. I know. So cute. Okay. No, I put my arm over no, you. No, no, I'm, 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 I'm the boss. You don't. No, you don't, don't, no, you don't, don't do that. Nigga, I'm over you. I'm the AG. See, I gotta go through. I'm the AG. Oh, it's Taurus season. That's why. <laughs> oh, not yet, boo. <laughs> oh, not yet. But it will be real soon. Where my Scorpios at, y'all? Where my Scorpios at? Y'all know we're there. Y'all not. Where my around. Scorpios at? Y'all can't even see your face. Turn, turn the hat backwards. All you see is my teeth. Yeah, because the eyes. Cause it's pearly. And the white, cause it's crispy. Like what baby? You got baby? Hey, hey! Ah, Charlie! You coming for? What? Yeah, caught. You been doing video, no? Yeah, caught. I'm speaking to you. I'm paying for. Yeah, caught. I'm been doing video, no? A heaven, a reader, a chamo, muna mungo, asum dream, dinyami jamo. I am on Troy. I'm on follow you on Instagram. Me there ye G H underscore L E Z. Me there ye there ye Heaven Bendel. Heaven, not the Bendel. I then also so you didn't know be a good description. I'm on Troy. I'm on follow you. I'm on Troy. I'm on email you. I'm on fry you. Your telephone. So I am on DM you. Why? From Ghana. 
West India, all in America, mix mix, basa basa. So we're going, bye bye. Oh. <laughs>